Everyday English Phrases and Expressions, Part One. Everyday spoken English is full of small phrases and expressions that you often don't find in English textbooks because they're rather informal. However, knowing and understanding these phrases is important because they are common in English conversation. In this lesson, you'll learn eight phrases and expressions. Number one, I'll say. This expression is used when you strongly agree with what the other person said. Often, we use it to imply that the other person made an understatement, and the truth is even stronger than what they said. For example, if your friend says, "That's a big fish," you can respond, "I'll say." It means you agree. And you think the fish is not just big; it's huge. Number two, fat chance. This is a sarcastic way to say that there is very little possibility of something happening. The possibility is so small that you think it won't happen. For example, if you and your friend are talking about two sports teams. And your friend says the Red Sox are going to win the championship this year. You can say, "Fat chance! They'll never beat the Yankees." Number three, I rest my case. Say this when you are expressing a fact or opinion, and something happens to prove your point perfectly and show that you are completely correct. For example. If you tell your friend you can't cook at all, and your friend says, "I cook all the time. I make those instant noodle soups," you can say, "I rest my case," because the fact that he only makes instant noodle soups is proof that he really can't cook. Number four, what's the catch? Say this when something sounds too good to be true. It means you suspect that there's a hidden problem, which might make the situation not as good as it appears to be. For example, if your friend says, "Dan is going to sell me his car for just five hundred dollars," you can answer, "Hmm, what's the catch?" Because you think five hundred dollars is too low of a price for the car, so there must be some problem. Number five, good call. Use this expression to say the other person made a good decision or smart observation. For example, if you and your friend are trying to decide whether to go to the mall or the movies, and she says. Let's go to the mall. They're having a big sale this weekend. We can go to the movies any time. You can answer, "Good call." It means you think her decision was good. Number six, take your pick. Say this when you are offering various items for the other person to make a choice. For example, if you are offering tea to your friend. You can say, "I have chai, ginger, green tea, and black tea. Take your pick." You are inviting your friend to make a choice which type of tea she wants. Number seven, make yourself at home. Say this to welcome a visitor to your home. You are telling them to sit down, get comfortable, and relax. Number eight. It's a small world, or what a small world! Say this in reaction to an unexpected coincidence. For example, if you meet someone at a conference and you ask, "Where did you go to college?" and the other person says, "Stanford University," you can say, "What a small world! I studied there too." Thanks for watching English tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.